<laughs> yeah, did you I, not I did. go to Sal's party? No, and I'm fucking livid about it. Why? <sighs> Do I want to open this up? Let me just think this through. Uh oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I I, perp- I was going to bring this up on Monday because I learned of it last week. Uh huh. But because it was a surprise party for Sal, you couldn't say anything. I didn't say anything. But what it is is that, from what I understand, Sal's got this buddy, this financial advisor who you've heard about. Yes, we've talked to him. Who decided to call up Rick's and say, you know, and Rick's is run by Lonnie, and Lonnie's a friend of ours, and Lonnie is a good guy. And, we and do he'd anything. do anything for us, yeah. So he calls up and says, hey, Sal's having a birthday. I want a birthday party, a surprise party for Sal. Now, again, Sal doesn't know about this. No, because it's a surprise to him. But his friend... And even something happened with Gary and this guy, the friend who like called Gary one night in Vegas and said, hey, Gary, we're having a party for Sal over at Rick's. Why don't you come over and uh, hang out with us? And then Gary got there and it was uh, it, it, it there was no party. And Gary, what happened with this what this, this situation? Well, there were you, two know things. I mean? you know, why I'm upset because, I mean, he can't call over and make parties yeah. for free parties for Sal. Well, there are two things that happened. First of all, I was I just happened to be out in Vegas doing something. And this guy contacted me and he said, Hey, we're out there for Sal's 40th birthday. You know, come on by and have dinner. And I said, I can't come by. And he goes, well, we're doing something at Rick's later. Can you stop by? So I get to Rick's at like 11 o'clock. The guy and his fiance are there. No Sal and his wife. An hour goes by. He goes, oh, they texted. They're just finishing dinner. Half an hour later, they're late. They're on dessert. So after two and a half hours, I left because Sal never showed up. And when I saw Sal and his wife the next day at the pool, they said, we never had any intention of going. We told them we were never going. But the weirder thing was Ronnie told me, the guy had called Rick's in Vegas, said, hey, it's Sal's birthday, want to come by? And Lonnie said, that's fine, I'll uh, I'll comp you guys your first round of drinks. Then the guy called back and said, Gary's coming, and, and I think he might have even insinuated that I wanted some whole setup. Right. That I didn't know anything yeah, about. Yeah, that, Sal. That's crazy. Sal, I'm getting upset. But, uh, you know, is Sal responsible for this? Does Sal know what's going on? Uh, I don't know. But I, don't, I want it stopped immediately. Because I know Richard was sending out invitations. Was uh, now, How were you involved I, in this? I helped out, too. But and, who are you to start asking well, Lonnie for free parties? No, Lonnie has asked us. He, he loves no, I know, I know. Do you know why Lonnie, Do you ever figure out in your small mind why Lonnie asked you if you want a party? Do you ever figure out why? Why, why does Lonnie want to give you well, a Well, because he loves you. Ah, because he loves me. And what does he expect you to deliver? Right. He just, I. We just want to do wants? something nice for Sal. He well, no, no, he likes when he gets mentioned on the. It's quid pro quo. Mm-hmm. I don't want quid pro quo. Unless it's your quid pro. That's right. Well, you were invited to. I yeah. heard. <laughs> I don't want you making free parties using my name on, uh, for your free party. Okay, mm-hmm. got it. Well, and, and and Sal's advisor. I don't want him. Calling people and inviting them down to Rick's, and then Sal's not even there. No wonder he has no fa- financial yeah. problems. He's getting everything for free. Yeah. Sal, do you know anything what's going on with this? Have you said anything to your buddy? What happened when you guys found out Gary was brought down there and you had no intention of being there? When we were in Vegas, I told, I made it perfectly clear. He's a great guy, but I made it clear that I wasn't going to go. My wife didn't want to yeah, go. Yeah, but then he called Gary anyway. Right, and I discussed it with Gary. And I Did you discuss it with him? Well, your financial advisor. Uh, no, I discussed it with Gary. Well, why but why would discuss it with Gary? Why don't you discuss it with him that he's not supposed to do that? that I, I, I don't. I don't want that. I wasn't I'm a, getting mad at you. I, I'm with you, and I'm hearing you loud and clear. Yeah. I wasn't aware Sit of this. Sit him down and say, you "Don't." Got it. He's not allowed to call Ricks and 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 create parties. Right. And and situations where you're supposedly going to be there when you're not going to be there. He's a really good guy. His, 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 his sure intentions were good, guy. but I, I'm yeah, aware. How of many fortieth birthday parties is Lonnie supposed to throw for you? None. I didn't ask for it. That's right. And 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 he's a really good guy and all that other stuff. But, but the fact of the matter is, he's using my connection absolutely. with Lonnie I, I to see throw that. you a free party. I see that. Why doesn't he throw you a party where he has to spend some money? Yeah, that why would mean he something. Give you a party. I gave you the fucking party. Thank you. Fuck off. And get your friends in line. <laughs> all right. He's a really good guy. Get and your I, fr- I don't care. That? My, I don't care if he's a good guy. Right. Right. Tell him no more free parties in your name or my name. You well, I, I mean, I have to you take, too. Uh, yeah. you take a lot of it. I want to take a lot of this, Good. too, because I you help. You, too. Fuck too. off. Sorry. No more parties. Okay. You let me know. I, I, all of a sudden, I get this invite. You can come to a party, a free party. Yeah, I saw the invitation. Yeah. Well, if, stop, but, stop using people. We talked about. Don't use what? Lonnie. We talked about what? Lonnie no. runs a business. Go in there and pay like anybody else. You want to have a party, you pay for it.
But I wouldn't have been upset if you, you know, when you found out if you would have said, don't I, have well, this party. Well, I found out two days ago. Well, no, I sent you an invitation. Yeah, about I didn't a know what ago. it was. I had to find out from some other people around here. And you should know better. How does he, the invitation doesn't say come to the party that Lonnie's throwing. It's, it was a scores, if you're throw a party or, for I mean, Sal, a Rick's if you're going to throw a party for Sal, you have to pay. You pay. That's your buddy. You want to throw parties. I throw parties for people. I don't Thank miss. God only eight people showed up. They were carrying on about there wasn't a big turnout. Yeah. I use more, more freeloaders for Lonnie to pay for. I don't want to use my connections and say to people, give me free stuff. I've never operated that way. I'm always up front about it. You're not being fair to me. You want to come to me like a man and say, listen, I want to have a party for Sal. Would you mind, Howard, if I called Lonnie and discussed it with him? And I would have said to you, you know, you're, you, Lonnie feels pressure to do stuff for free. You realize you're pressuring him because he thinks he's pleasing me. Oh, I never put any pressure on him. Oh, no, I, I never strong armed him or nothing. <laughs> you understand the guy feels pressure? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. So he's got to go and pay for your liquor, your booze, and then and then everyone's a hero. They had a party for Sal. And I suspect you guys just want to go to Rick's for free, so you use Sal as the excuse, and same with your friend there. I, I wouldn't go that far. Right, well, what? I'm going that far. I'm going that far. Because why else would he tell Gary you're going to be there when you're not going to be there? Right. Well, originally, uh, right. Originally, uh, I, I was going to be there, and then yeah. I decided against it. But I didn't know. Yeah. And then Gary made me aware that he never told him I wasn't coming. Right. And I will address uh, it to him. Yeah. So something's going on. I'm sure he's a nice man. I'm not saying no, but I just want you to put a lid on the free Rick stuff. Yeah. I mean, he really yeah. shouldn't. He has no relationship to this show. How can he, How can he call anyone? Party? I guess he got Richard involved. Yeah, he's a mutual friend of Richard and right, myself, and we friend. do we yeah, do a lot of me, stuff. Tell all your friends, and Richard, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. don't be arranging free parties with Lonnie. Got okay. it. Don't wheel and deal behind my back. You got it. You, and don't you, invite me to strip clubs. <laughs> you could invite Robin to a strip club. Yeah. No, I, I did. don't want to be invited. They invited me. She to that pulled party. me aside and said, oh, "Here's your advisor. Yeah, Rich, Rich, hey. no more arranging parties at Rex. It's over for you." Well, well, let me. Let me I don't know you. Time. I don't know anything about you. But that's Howard. You're not. You don't have accurate information. Go ahead. Um, I didn't get anything for free other than a club soda in Vegas. Mm, well, that's not the way I heard. True. That's not Rich, true. Rich, that's not true. He comped all our drinks. You didn't pay a nickel. Um, I think I had, uh, no, I... I'm just saying that he comped the drinks, and he was expecting, he had a whole table, he had a table for 20 waiting, because he thought 20 people, this is what Ronnie told me, I just showed up to a party, Ronnie told me that you called him, and you were expecting a party of 15 to 20 people, and that's no, what, that, that's what Ronnie had cleared out and ready to treat to drinks. Not, not in Vegas, absolutely not. You're wrong, we sat at, Rich, we sat at a table with you... Your fiance, my, my, myself, and my friend, and there was no one out at this long table. Why do you think we had that big table? He thought a lot of people were coming. All right, but I. And meanwhile, I, I, Sal was never coming. But, 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 Gary, that can't be true because there weren't 15 people in Vegas. But whatever he thought was coming, he had a large table. But, but, Rich, because this has freaked me out since that night, because I, I actually enjoyed talking to you. Sal's wife told me she told you three days before and every minute of the trip. They were not coming to scores, yet we sat at that table, and you said, oh, they're finishing dessert. They'll be here in a few minutes. And Christine said, we never had any intention of coming. What is that about? That, that is that is not true. Sal was trying to right. make, make an effort to be there, and he absolutely said that he thought he might be able to come. I would never take advantage of anybody's relationship. So, Sal, are you lying to me now? No, I'm not lying to you. And Sal, you're lying. No, I'm not. Rich is explaining lying? it. Rich is explaining it exactly right. How For three days, Richard was asking us, and at the last minute, I told Rich at that day that, look, Christine's uncomfortable with this. She wants to just relax here. And then Richie said, fine, let's play it by ear. Let's see how the day goes. I go, but I'm not going. But the days so, prior, so well, the days prior when Rich contacted Gary, Rich was accurate. Rich was, how come when he got there that night, he didn't just say, hey, listen, no. Sal and Christine are not coming? I don't know. But uh, everything else that he did contact oh, you about. Why didn't he tell the truth? Ask him. I don't know why. Rich, why didn't you tell the truth? Sal and Christina weren't coming. You knew no, that. It wasn't. No. There was a way it left at dinner. Dinner was running very late. And there were a couple other people in the party. Right. It, to me, it seemed like that there was a possibility that a possibility. Christina was going to go along with it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I thought that they were coming. All right. Listen to me. I like you, Rich. Rich, I don't know you. You seem like a very nice guy. I'm telling you. I'm telling Sal. I'm telling Richard. Lonnie is a friend of mine 
who enjoys this show and would do anything for this show. Asking him for free anything is taking advantage of the guy. Because he has to do it. In his mind, he thinks he's doing me a favor. Right. So what you're really doing is cashing in on my relationship with this guy. You know, I put scores on the map, and he's very grateful for that. And we also talk about Rick's Cabaret. He's very grateful to me. And what he ends up doing is being very gracious to the people who work with me. And I had to set Ronnie, the limo driver, straight on this, and I'm setting you guys straight on it. Stop taking advantage of the guy, because that's what you're doing. All of you. Not just you, Rich. Right. Uh, no, so there's a, there's a lot of guys around who take advantage of my relationship with Lonnie. And okay. I, don't, I don't want it going on. There will be no more free anything. You come to me if you want something free, and I'll arrange it for you. Okay. You understand? Absolutely. I, you know, my intention was to have. Yeah, I don't know you. I time. don't know you. I don't know your intention. Okay. Well, I didn't hear what his intention mm. was. No, I, I'm. I, I, I assumed that they were going to invoice me for the party, and oh, I was prepared okay. to pay for it. Well, I'm going to have. Then I will have him invoice you. I mean, he, this guy, Rich is. Rich, would you like an invoice from Lonnie? Absolutely. Is that what you're saying? I'm, you want to pay for Sal's party? Absolutely. All right, it'll be I, done. I, I thought that I would be paying for it. Mm -hmm. You really did. I think, Richard, did you think Lonnie was going to charge you for the party? Was there any impression that Lonnie was going to charge for the party? I know he usually doesn't. Right, for I stuff know. Like of this. course not. Rich, he's not going to charge. Right. You see, they, they, because he wouldn't do that. He thinks he's doing me a favor. And, Richard, how could you do that? I mean, yeah, forget you this know guy, Rich. better. Yeah, what, what's with you? Well, I mean, I did talk with Gary about it, you know, before well, Gary's we sent a buffoon. the invite. Gary's going to end up getting you fired. <laughs> Gary's a buffoon. <laughs> Every time. Gary is brainless. <laughs> but Gary's my Gary, Gary's gonna in a year he's gonna go produce Regis or one of these shows or start his own new show and we'll see how he does. But I trust Gary's judgment well, on stuff, that, so that, I, I so wanted yeah, to so ask Gary him. Gary told you it was thought. okay, it was no problem. Now we're Why did you approach Gary? Okay. What is I don't even remember having the conversation with. You. I said, Richard, this is okay for you to do. I, I I went to you before I sent the invites out and said, well, Why are you is always saying it on Gary? Don't you know what to do? Don't you know what to do? Because Gary, you know that the reason you're getting this for free is because of me, and that you're just using someone. You're using Lonnie. You don't know that. I mean, I would. How many people in your life have given you anything for free? Zero. How many club owners in New York, Kansas, or anywhere have given you something for free? Zero. Zero. Point. Why Zero. do you think all of a sudden there's a guy who owns a major strip club in in Manhattan wants to give you a free? Blown out party, free strippers, lap dances, drinks, a whole works, food. Why all of a sudden Richard Christie from Kansas is getting this? Why do you think? Because of, Cause of what? you. Because of me. So why won't you so come to me? When would it occur to you? Well, I don't you? want to bother you with this stuff. That's right. And what well, did you are... say to Gary? I just said, um, you know, we're planning this thing at one thirty. Is it okay? Should I send out the invites? I just want to make sure it was cool. Mm. Well, Gary doesn't know his own... He, he he doesn't know his left from his right foot. Howard, did you get Despite the that, he was at Adelphi and was given the Clemens Award or whatever the fuck. What is the Clemo, word? Clemo. Clemo Award. The Bubba Clem. The, Bubba Clem. The Bubba Clemo Award. The fact that he got the Clemo Award doesn't mean a thing to me. Because the Clemo Award, it, I could wipe my ass with the Clemo Award. You understand? I think they did that before they handed it That's to That's right. Him. <laughs> but I, I stop stop the nonsense. I would have been happy to don't just take, take Sal out to Del Frisco's or something. I, right, that's, that's why, what you should have done. Well, that's why when well, I sent the invite out, the idea yeah. for Ricks. Yeah, how, how did, did you? Out of all up? the places in New York, how'd you figure? You would have taken him to Del, Del <laughs> well, Frisco's, yeah. but he wound up at Ricks. Yeah. We've done a lot of Howard TV at Ricks. We've yeah. done. We've produced a lot of segments, a lot of bits. We've incorporated Ricks into that. And, yeah. and Lonnie always, because of you, Howard. Thank you. He always yeah. extends a hand to us. So yeah, well, we, that, he's doing we got to a point where that because he feels he has to okay and i've been trying to say all along lonnie you don't owe us anything he doesn't he's been very grateful right. and you know I, being I, that I, do you see me at rick's i don't go you know why i don't want to take advantage of the guy he's a good guy we don't want to take advantage of, of well, him you either. are i know that's I'm, what i'm, I'm telling i'm well aware of it all right and all, all right, everybody's intentions over everyone's intentions were good uh, and, yes and, i know all of your intentions are good you right. always have good intentions and yet things go horribly wrong <laughs> i can see that right that's pretty sad when all, I mean, you're a grown man and all your intentions are good and everything goes wrong. I said my friend's intentions, Richard right. Christie and Rich right. Rockwell. You're good friends.
Maybe it's time for new friends. No, <laughs> not these guys. Yeah. Never. I wouldn't get rid of these Don't two. Don't get rid of those two. <laughs> but the other thing with Rich, Rich said he fully planned on being invoiced for the party. Yeah. Uh, if, R- since he was when? planning it with Richard Christie, did Richard Christie... Rich, did, did you ever you hear anything about... Invoiced? Did you plan on getting invoiced? Were you going to split no, it? No, I didn't plan on that. Yeah. And, and when you do a party, you don't go into it blind not knowing what the invoice is going to be. Well, Sal's financial advisor says always go into it blind. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, we, we had set up, there was, we, I told them that there would be, you know, to send out the invitations in advance, which I assume, Howard, you got an invitation, is that right? Uh, yeah, I got an invitation. So you saw that it was going to be at Rick's two months ago. And, and I, and I didn't stop it? it because Sal was having a surprise party. And believe me, I didn't know you were involved. But we no, would have ha- happily moved it if so you weren't so comfortable. No. So, so, stop it, putting me in this position! I'm yeah, not the police. Th- Use your fucking head is what I'm saying. Use your fucking God-given brain. <laughs> no, but so why the funny, fuck Rich. do I know how to use my brain and you don't? But you said to ask. I should have asked you. Why don't you use your head? You don't have to ask anybody. Don't do things that are stupid. And the things you're supposed to run by Gary are the things you want to do on the air. What is it, Ron? Here's Ronnie uh, Mund. Go ahead. So Richard came to me. Yeah. And he said to me that this guy, Rich, who I don't know from a hole in the that wall. That's South's financial advice. Right. So you met me a bunch of times, right? No, I didn't. Anyway, um, he said to me that Rich wanted to throw a party for South for 30 to 40 people originally. Right. 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 And I said, are you crazy? Do you remember what happened when I threw a party at Scores years ago and invited like 50 people? I almost got fired here. I said, what are you thinking, even with that, to invite 30 or 40 people? Remember that we had that conversation? Yeah. I said, you better cut it down. If you're going to do this, you better cut it down to like 15 people. 15? Two? What? Zero? People. Yeah, I understood, but I didn't know what was going on. You know, you know, Lonnie, like, right. always wants to throw a party. I mean, he throws parties for me, but, you know, I have a working relationship with Lonnie, because of Howard, but I work for the club. I do a lot of promotion, which I'm doing this weekend. And I still said that, you, you know, you got you got to... Cut it down. So what, happened or, or Ron, even, what happened when Ronnie said to you there might be an impropriety here? Well, the, the, I, I knew there wasn't going to be 30 or 40 people. I mean, nobody during the week. Uh, listen to me. Listen to me. The, listen to me. I'm getting bored with this. My and, and then the, the thing with, with Vegas, with, with Sal also, yeah. Ronnie calls me. He goes, do you know anything about this party in Vegas? I said, no, what are you talking about? He goes, well, this financial guy of... of uh, of Sal's called and, and said that you know there's a big party in Vegas and we want to come to Rick's. I said, well, I don't know anything and about why it. Is he you, calling? I have Who no idea. Guy? Guy. I, I don't know. Hey, He's Ron, arranging and parties. And you, don't, and you don't call the drivers when you're in Vegas for other reasons to get free rides to and from the airport. What are you talking about, dude? I had what, what what, about? a free driver. But wait a second. Rick, I don't know. Rick sends a car for me because I'm working for them, dude. No, when you're not working for them. I, that's the only time I go to Vegas. That's the only reason. Yeah, and I was in Vegas a week uh, last week with Howard, and I was I had his driver, okay? Because I was doing things for Howard. That's what are you what talking about, free drivers? That's what I was told, that you called the Yeah, but Rich, Rich, Rich. I called who? I called who? You called the drivers to pick you up. Yeah, Where because... You're at? Yeah, exactly. I called the driver to pick me up because I'm doing work for Howard, you idiot. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. You don't have to personally attack me. I'm not well, well, you're attacking me, moron. No, not personally. I'm calling up for free drivers. Who am I calling? Tell me who I'm calling for a free driver. The driver was working for me. I call yeah, Rick's. I, Rick's I don't have to call Rick's. But Rick, Rick sends a call for Rick, me because I'm working for them. Rich, what are, what are these parties? I don't know Why you. Why is he you, investigating you Ronnie? Don't even, you what don't has even, he got to do with what Ronnie does? You, yeah, Rich, Ronnie's you don't even work with me. I don't even know. I don't yeah, even what do you what? got to do with this fucking show, man? What are you attacking me? You're telling me I'm attacking you? Well, Ronnie who calls calling, for cars. Who am I calling for free drivers? Tell me. I said that I was told by... By who? I said one of the drivers. I don't know. What driver? Is. Yeah, the free driver you got from Rick's to drive you over there. You stupid ass. No, we yes. Paid for the drivers. Yes. All right, all right. Thank driver. you. Ronnie, we paid for the drivers. No, you didn't. Absolutely. No, you didn't. Absolutely. Right, no, let you me, didn't. Let me, let me get this straight here. All right. Listen to me. Well, everybody. Sal. Got it. You got friends. Maybe you got other friends who call Rick's and say they want to arrange parties. I don't know. It stops now. Got it. Sit down with your people and tell them no more off the Howard Stern show. Well, this is this and, is and, and Richard, come on, use your brain. You don't have to come to. You know what's right and what's wrong. You know when you're getting something for nothing, and you know why. Well, I asked. Now I owe Lonnie a favor. You understand? 
I'm the one who owns Lonnie a favor now. Now I got to make sure Lonnie's taken care of. You guys are wheeling and dealing. I don't know this guy on the phone, this Rich. Rich was the guy when you... I, I don't know him. Right, personally. Correct. I don't know him. You know him. Set him straight. No more parties. No more mentioning Howard. No more, uh, we want to set up a party for Sal, and Sal's not there. We don't even know if Sal's coming. I want this all straightened out. I don't hold this guy Rich on the phone responsible. I hold you He's responsible. not even in your... No, I don't even know him. Yeah, he doesn't work here. You have nothing yeah. to do with him. And Lonnie doesn't know what he's supposed to. He, Lonnie will do anything for anyone on this show. Yeah, you know, you're right. He's a good guy. He's a good-hearted he's guy. A great guy. He loves what we do. He, you know, he listen, he likes the access and all that. Did you have a good party? Mm -hmm. Thanks, to Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the party was good, yeah. You liked it? Thanks you liked you. the party Thank you, Howard. You? Yeah. Thank you, Howard. No, these fuckers didn't throw you a party. No, they did. No, I did. I know. Through don't, you. don't mistake they, who threw they, you that. They printed out a mm. little piece of paper. That should have said, we're going to go behind Howard's back. Oh, there's Sal look at the at party you. with Whoa. the girls, and he's all happy, and he's smiling. Wow. You look very happy. Girls are in their titty dresses. Look at that. It looks yeah. like a free... Look at the giant birthday cake. Who paid for that? Lonnie. Yeah, Richard didn't go to a bakery. Richard, who paid for that cake? I didn't know there was even so going to be a cake. When a cake that size rolls out with Sal's name on it and a happy birthday. Oh, my God. And there were two naked, half-naked women who giving it to him. <clears throat> Did you ever say to yourself, gee, how did this all come about? Well, we were going to buy a cake, oh, but, mm, oh. but I don't, they didn't. Well, I don't. Maybe he, maybe Rich did. I don't know. Rich, I don't did know. you buy that cake? Uh, well, I did not. I, I did asked not. Lonnie to Invoice. meet his vendor to buy a cake, and he said no. That their in-house chef will prepare a cake for fifteen people. So the in-house chef says to you, Rich, "I'll prepare an in. I'll prepare a cake. You don't need to spend a dime." Why, Rich? I don't know who you are, to Lonnie. How come you think Lonnie did that for you? I Why presume you? because. Sal is connected with the show. Oh. But again, the oh, Sal knowledge. is con That's why. So you felt comfortable Howard. talking to Ron Lonnie about a free cake. Well, no, Howard. Mm -hmm. It's not my. It wasn't. So when Lonnie said to you, "Don't worry, cake. I will take care of the cake," you're like, "Okay, fine." No, 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 no. I course course say that. I said, right, "Listen to me. It's got to stop. It's got to stop." What time of the day is this party going on, Howard? I don't know. What time of the day? It happened at uh, roughly 2.30. So that's extra for Lonnie because he's bringing in girls that wouldn't ordinarily oh, yeah. be there Robin, Robin, we at that the time spent, of the day. It's a private the party. Spent, the guy spent a lot of money in, in lap dances. The guy's also spent money at the club. It wasn't uh, I want this closed money down. Do you understand, guys? Right. I don't know the guy on the phone. He's a good man, but... And uh, he's yeah, doing yeah. all the talking. Listen no. to this. Well, I'm not, talk I'm not answering Howard on this. Yeah, he's he's right. Lonnie. Howard's right. He's in touch with Lonnie. Everybody's in touch with Lonnie. All of a sudden, everyone has access. All you have to do mm -hmm. when you make this party, this is some party. I'll call Lonnie. Mm -hmm. Glenn's on the phone. He's having a big dinner at Nobu for Hypercheric. <laughs> wants to know if any of you guys want to come. It's free. It's yeah, all free. He's, he's booked the table for 30. <laughs> and look at Jason getting a, a oh, pole dance. My. Look at that picture. What the hell is going on there? Oh, oh my, oh, my God. Hey, Howard, one more question. What did you think when you got the invitation that said Rich on it? I, you, you, can I be honest with you? I didn't even fucking read it. Right. I get so much email. I'm so involved in this show and working on the show. When I see nonsense, I don't even pay attention to you it. You go right to the next email? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't, even, I didn't even bother to read it. I see the right. name Sal and something. I, I immediately delete it from my email. Uh, okay. We ain't going yeah. to John's Pizza for my birthday. That's for <laughs> sure. You're goddamn right we're not. <laughs> Well, at least well, Howard would have been paying for the right. party. He didn't call John and just say, yes, make me a I bunch know. of he did. He It was, know, it was like, a great party. That, like, Artie, for some reason, they they would never call up Lonnie and say, we need a free party for it's my friend. It's not my place. For, they, they just know. How come you guys don't know anything? And there was one time that we did throw a party for Howard for his engagement, and Robin and I split the cost. That's right. We didn't call anybody. We didn't anybody. call anybody and say, throw us a freebie. How come they know? How come you two maniacs don't know? How we, come you don't know? We know now. What? You, know, you, don't. you knew before. No, you, don't. you don't know. You you're don't all know. of a sudden, you're, well, you know something? Well, I think know we know. Something? Rob, we've been here for six years, and this was a oh, surprise you must party. Not know because well, it, no, but it's the one you don't six know years. thing. You don't you know. You know who was surprised is Lonnie. <laughs> right. Lonnie was surprised with the, the Billy had <laughs> Yeah. Lonnie. And what Jeez. is with Lonnie that he listens to knuckleheads like you? Right. 
And they sent Howard TV as well, Howard. You know that. Oh, well, that's why we that. got pictures. Oh, yeah. How, how'd you but like that? But Lonnie's expecting Howard to roll through right. the door. So I don't know who well, he's expecting that. Howard to talk about Ricks. Hey, but he's also expecting you to roll through the door. That's why he's even putting on this silly thing. Right. Well, we got it. Thanks. I'm going to go back Thank to Thank you. I hope you had a good party. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hope I, hope I threw you a good party. You did. Thank oh, you very much. Too bad I couldn't be there. Howard's a sucker, though, right? You, you say it. What I want you to say it. Say it, Sal. You're the first thing sucker. sucker. Say, it. say Howard's a sucker. I want to hear you say it. No. D say it. No. You, that's what you're thinking. No. How would I, I think you a sucker? We can play Howard. No way. Nobody Howard thought that. Howard. Richard say didn't it, think say it. Really. Say it to my face. Don't be a fucking coward. Say it to my face. Why would I say it? Why say would I... Howard's a fucking sucker. I would be no. lying. Say it. No, you're I... not. You know that's what you think. I think you're a sucker. Somebody throws me a surprise party to place that. Nah, I'm a sucker. You that, can say it. That we've done. Right. That we've done. The innocent root from you. Kansas You're not a who sucker. actually thinks that. So no, he doesn't. Say Richard, it, Richard, Richard does not I say don't that. Feel comfortable saying. Please it. say Howard Stern's a fucking sucker. Howard, you're, you're gonna be mad at me if I say, say it. it. Say it. Come on, let me have it right to my face. Don't I want it. it. I deserve it. it. I deserve it. I didn't it. know. I didn't know. I shouldn't call up for free. All of a sudden, he's Jethro Bodine. Please say it. You're smarter than I think. You know your good sense. You're a real man. You'll say it to my face, Howard. You're a sucker. Say it to me. Say it. Howard, you're a sucker. Thank you for saying it. Now I know what you think of me. I don't think that. No, I just you do. said it, do I? Sal's not man enough to say it. No, uh, no, no, it's not enough. You're man a pussy. How, how, why would I think you're a sucker? Why? Because I, because you can play me. You use my name. I play you? I don't play your you friends at all. call up Ricks. You all, all your buddies. It's, say it's, it's, how, it's Howard's a sucker. Say I'm it. not say saying it. it. Liberate yourself. Just get it over with. Get so. it over with. <laughs> Howard's a sucker. Good. Howard's now a sucker. You're, now you're being a man. Nah, not really. Yeah. Fred will never play those two clips ever again. No. <laughs> you can play that every day to remind me what these and guys I don't think want of me. Play Salem, it every day. I don't want Scott Salem to take those comments no, and take put them. them on sound effects page five. Take, <laughs> take them and do it. <laughs> All right. Rich, you want to say it too? Howard's a sucker? Go ahead. It's okay. Uh, Go ahead, say it. I really don't want to. But you could say my it. My intention is never to take advantage of everybody. I'm going to tell you. Uh, you could say it. I'm a sucker. Go ahead. Say it. Howard is a sucker. Thank you. Thank you. Now I know what I am. Boy, Rich said it good. Yeah. You said it the best he out of anyone, Rich. It. You I said it like a financial I might advisor. Have to, I'm going to throw Rich a party at Rick's. <laughs> Can I come? Maybe, maybe you take me to lunch, Howard. <laughs> I do. All right, Rich, thank you. I don't know you, but thank you. By the way, real quick, Howard. Yeah. When you, when you brought me in and you set me straight about my financial problems. Yes. That I'm a woman, I wear a dress, and I, I can't rule the roost and yeah. hold down. Yeah. Rich Rockland came over my home for about seven to eight hours and helped clean up all my I finances. I know that. I know he's been And you here. should throw him a party. Yeah. Right. Why don't you thank him by throwing him a well, party? I just want to let it. you know. I want to make you aware that. He does uh, listen to you, I and through you, he was extremely generous. Yeah, Rich Thank is a great guy. I know, I know, I know. Well, I know now he, he got paid back because Lonnie right. threw him a party. Right, right. all right, Rich. Uh, how about a quick plug for my law firm? <laughs> no, Rich, please, <laughs> I'm, I'm not the sucker you think I am. Thank it's you. Bad, Howard. You just told me to tell you you're a sucker. <laughs> I, I know, I'm, I'm trying not to be one. Thank you. All right. He's no, breaking the path. And Howard, yeah. from the bottom, bottom of uh, my heart, I don't want thank to you it. for the party. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Get out. Thank you for the party. you, get out of here. Can I say happy birthday? No, no, get out. Don't it's fucking it. make a mockery of this. I'm not kidding. Look at those two. <laughs> Three year olds. Richard is really passive aggressive. You know what? Gary always says that about him. Right. But man, that was so obviously no. passive aggressive behavior. Did you hear how many times when you said, Do you understand me? He said, But. Yeah. But, 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 but. 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 And then laying it off on everybody else. I asked Gary. I asked Ronnie. I asked. You know, one thing I'm going to say about my guy. When you're asking, you know you're wrong. You take a guy like Artie. I'll tell you why you stand up. Here's a guy on heroin. <laughs> Low-life degenerate. DUI. Everything. But he pays. But he pays for whatever it is he does. <laughs> Thank you. And I mean that as the highest compliment. <laughs> No, I, I would be I would be mad as, at a friend if I mean think about you the reality. No, think you about the re think about the reality of that. You got a friend that wants to throw your party, and he goes, "Well, <laughs> yeah. do you happen to know anywhere where he can get stuff for free?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that everything will be taken care right. of. All I have to do is make a phone call. Now, Lisa, was that your first story or your last story? <laughs> it was my first story. This Howard News, they they get me oh, riled up. They're killing you. <laughs>